to everyone. Let us begin with the prarthana. <clears throat> Guru Reva Kate, Guru Meva Pache, Guru Neva Sahasri Namo Gurave, Naguro Paraman, Shishurasmi Guru, Matirasti Guru, Mama Pai Guru, Guru Reva Kate, Guru Meva Pache. Guru Neva Sahasri Namo Gurave Naguro Paramam Shishurasmi Guru Matirasti Guru Mama Pahi Guru Guru Reva Gati Guru Meva Pache Guru Neva Sahasri Namo Gurave Naguro Paramam Shishurasmi Guru Matirasti Guru, Mama Pahi Guru. Ram, Ram, Ram. So let us begin with the Prayogaha Vachyam. Continue with that same. Some more points I had to add from my side based on the questions that were raised after the class in the chat. So I just thought, let me make some more points clear before we go to the Exercise. We had done the um, this one, right? The uh, uh, from uh, Sanskrit to English we have completed, and now we are going to do from English to Sanskrit. So I'm just allowing everyone to talk. Please mute yourself once you are got the invite of the hello to talk. So whoever is there, I'm just allowing them. Then later when they join, I try to do that. This karmani is a little like it's a uh, it's like a roundabout way of putting things. Okay, we are not talking straight. Okay, we are not talking straight uh, topics. That is the main problem of the uh, this one. Okay, straight means the idea is a little curved idea. It's not a it's not a like something we can get it at one go. It's a, a little roundabout way of telling by me, like, uh, especially for the, like, Prathama Purusha, it's easy. I thought over after the questions have come, I try to think over when it is Prathama Purusha, things, and it is, like, very easy. Ah, Maya Vanam Gamyate, Ramena Vanam Gamyate, Sitaya Vanam Gamyate, Dvaya Vanam Gamyate. Until there, we are very comfortable. How to put gamya se? How to put gamye is a big question. So aham gamye. So I am to be reached. Vayam gamya mahe. So until here also it's okay. Maybe present tense will give us a little this thing. What about past tense? I was approached. Okay. So how to put it? You were, you all were approached. You all were reached. Okay, you were reached. You did not reach anywhere. If you reach somewhere, it's Kartari. If you are reached, then Karmani. So, all these ideas need some more time in the brain. They are not like 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 or 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. Uh, six okay. So it's not that easy. So it's a little like, like board mass. We had that uh, bracket of uh, division, multiplication, addition, and then the last subtraction, board mass. So some, some steps are involved in that. First, we must see the, the identify the, so previously in the Kartari, we used to go by Kriya. We catch the Kriya, Kriya will tell everything. Kriya will not hide anything. Apart from like non-karakas, it cannot hide anything. Kriya has to tell. But when we come to karma, it is not so. It's not that straight line. Let's catch the Kriya, then get all the information. It's not like that. So, tishkya, 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 gone. It's not like that. It's not one go, tishkya, tishkya. So, we have to 
do some kind of like uh, detective work here. So how to go about it? So better, I think we cannot formulate steps uh, very easily. It, it depends upon our ability to understand and uh, the complication, uh, complicate level of the sentence and all. So what I propose is, okay, go by Kriya only this time also. See what is in Prathama Vibhakti, see what is in the Trithiya Vibhakti, okay? So apart from that, I mean, Kriya will not tell you directly, but you can examine through these two clues that the subject will be in Prathama Vibhakti, which is Karma, which is an object actually. Okay, if we put it in the Kartari, it will be an object, isn't it? But uh, since it is in the Karmani, like uh, the work is done. Okay, here I did the work or he did the work, but the work is done. When I say the work is done, do we call the work a subject or uh, object? Here it is not subject as the agent. It's not the agent of action. That getting done is not done by the work. Getting done is done by somebody else. Who, who got done? The work got done. Okay, the work is getting done. It itself got done. So the karma is the one which experiences the kriya, isn't it, on itself. So the completion activity happened on the work. But who did it is the agent. It's the karta. So we will go by this way. Please write these points down. I did not write them. First, examine the Kriya. Ask the Kriya. Okay, what's your nature by Batao? So, Karyam Kriyate. Okay, Karyam Kriyate. Kriyate. Okay, Kriyate. Now, what we will go for? Maya Karyam Kriyate. So, we will go for what is in the Prathama Vibhakti first. So, that because it's Karmani, we have to give some uh, importance to Karma. So, what we will do is, we will see what is there in the Prathama Vibhakti, that's Karma. Then what we will do, we will see what is in the Tritiya Vibhakti. Maya Karma Kriyate, Maya Karyam Kriyate. Okay, so Karyam is in the Prathama Vibhakti. Okay, Maya Grantha Pathyate. Let us go by, let's not use an Agumsaka because it's like Prathama and Tritiya are same and it's a lot, a lot of confusion. So let's go to Maya Grantha Pathyate. That will be a better statement. So, Patyate, now look for a Prathama Vibhakti, that's Granthaha, that's gonna be Karma. Now go for the Tritya Vibhakti word in the sentence, that's Maya, Swaham is the Karta. Change it to like Prathama Vibhakti, then you will get the Karta. Okay, the knowledge of Tritya Vibhakti is very, very important. Without the Tritya Vibhakti, all the three Vachanas, not just one. All the three Vachanas of the Tritya Vibhakti, of the general nouns, of the Sarvanamas, of the Asmad Yushmat Shabda, everything you must be like aware of. Without that, you can never work with the Karmani Prayogas. That is the final thing. Okay. So, this is our formula. This is our algorithm. Somebody like uh, taught me to think this way, to get an algorithm for how we are going to approach a Karmani Prayoga. So, the algorithm for the karta is hold of Kriya. Catch hold of Kriya, get all the Karakas out. First being Karta, second being Karma and the rest will follow. Okay, that was the algorithm for the Kartari. For the Karmani, we'll go this way. It's a like complicated step a little bit. Like Kriya will not tell you, but first see the Kriya, then go for a Prathama Vibhakti, then go for the Tritya Vibhakti. That will really help you. Now, when you come to Kriya, there are like two possibilities. Like it will be in the... Tinganta Prayoga or it will be in the uh, Kridanta Prayoga. Okay, so it can be a Kridanta in the Maya Karyam Kriyate, Maya Karyam Kritam or uh, Kriyamanam, whatever it is. Like it can be present tense, it can be past tense, which is expressed through the Kridanta. There is one more possibility. We cannot negate that altogether because we didn't cover it here. We covered it in the previous lessons. We did not have chance to cover all the this thing. But one advantage with uh, Kridanta is it's only in the Prathama Vibhakti. All the other Kridantas are acting like Visheshanas that we have concluded. So if there is a uh, Prathama Vibhakti Kridanta, it can be in all the genders. It can be in any gender depending upon the gender of the Karma. Okay, not Karta. Again, we are talking about Karmani. We are not talking about Kartari. Like Kritavan, Gartavan, we are not talking about that. Kartari Prayoga, we are talking about Karmani Prayoga. 
okay so there what happens we have to just check like uh, the karmas number and gender and this gender also applies in the karmani prayoga of the thing and the, the gender is not a problem now when the kridanta comes into picture gender is also a problem now algorithm will change again okay so the algorithm for the karmani thing and the, will be like catch hold of the thing and the kriya then ask it okay so it will tell for the kridanta then see the number and gender and that will be a little helpful clue when it is a kridanta then we are a little at ease oh now we got the gender also so gender clue will help us to reach there now what about the other lakaras in the prathama like in the um, what you call like lat lakara vartamana kala things are very easy isn't it in the vartamana kala we are very easily able to guess what about the lang lakara when it's past what about the future tense what about the lord lakara what about the vidhiling lakara these are the main questions that where the student falls into a pit i mean he feels a kind of challenge there is a kind of oh oh this is a new word i have not come across this before that kind of feeling what to do now so immediate blockage comes on the mind let that not happen never that blockage should come whenever you read a sentence that is atmane pada clue is there isn't it it is an atmane pada termination you will get a yak okay you will get a yak with the all the sarvadhatukas you will get yak okay so what clue you should be taking is like adrishyata is there you say oh pashdhatu drishdhatu will take pash apashyam or apashyat should be the thing i see here adrishyata now what is it no no need to panic adrishyata you have four elements there the ta you saw you saw adagama you conclude it's a langlakara you see a yak then it's a karmani adrishyata so look for the karma look for the prathama vibhakti agent in the sent uh, element in the sentence okay then you will get what about uh, adrishyata what was the scene will be given there okay now uh, like adrishyata like drishyatam will be there drishyatam or shruyatam ah huh? shruyatam ah huh. श्रूयताम धर्म सर्वस्व श्रुवा जैव विचार्यता परोपकार महाभारत सार श्लोक इज दूयता धर्म सर्वस्व श्रुवा जैव विचार्यता पापा परपीडन परोपकार पुण्याय पापाय परपीडन दट इज द वेरी ब्यूटिफुल श्लोक ओके सो श्रूयता श्रूयता इज जस्ट लेट इट बी हियर so shruyata now when you see tam you will say oh it's shru dhatu but shru is a parasmai pada oh no 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 this is a wrong prayoga that must be some uh, spelling mistake or this must be some printing error okay so that is the this thing so shruyata when you see tam immediately you will identify ah this is a lot lakara and you see ya yeah. ah now you got it's a karmani karmani lot lakara now when you change it to kartari you have to maintain the lakara okay when the change of uh, this is an anuvada course of course they won't give you change of uh, this thing but anyhow we have to practice it i thought of giving that exercises also but now i see that 50 classes are no where enough for all these things to uh, deal with i have to explain we have to practice the exercises and then we watch uh, that vachana parivartanam we did now vachya parivartanam all this we can sit and do it but i'll give you principles that's what i'm telling you the step wise approach for that i didn't write it down but uh, i i tell it by experience uh, by teaching and by working out myself i'm just telling these points to you you can write them down okay so tam you see you can conclude it is tam uh, etam antam okay tam etam antam so then uh, it is like uh, going to be uh, but you should be very strong with atmanipada you know why karmani is a challenge in the students you know why because they are not happy with the atmanipada i'll tell you something of psychology here when the teacher himself or the one who introduces the subject himself tells that something is stuck the student is not aware of what is easy what is stuff because the subject is totally new to him that's what happens in in children also we observe that they develop a deep 
either hatred or fear of mathematics if the teacher is not good the condition applies here i don't say all students but when the teacher is a tough student that's why mathematics teacher must have a lot of patience even a vyakarana teacher in our sanskrita traditions a vyakarana teacher must have some patience okay more patience than others what happens that fear develops so when the atmane pada is introduced to the student they literally don't know what it is but in our classes we have discussed what atmane pada is you are very comfortable now so you can approach the karmani very easily because of the rejection towards the atmane pada in the kartari also the student is not able to approach it in the karmani prayogas the teacher say oh no 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 it's very tough you know you can't do it then the student says oh i can't do it then it happens because of the elephants you know the elephants uh, you, everybody knows the story of elephants when it's a child it's very much tortured and uh, like it's given very heavy chains but when it grows up the chain is even with some small thread they tie he thinks that no i just pull then it doesn't come he just relaxes okay no i can't make it he thinks even the even the horse okay so such examples are very like i think it's cheating it's it's really cheating but they want to work with those animals they have no go uh, the way they tap uh, they they just uh, tend them is this okay so we cannot do anything but it should not happen with humans human mind is they students have a submission feeling towards the teacher students really believe in teacher we see that the children as soon as they put in the lkg they just start saying oh mama you are wrong amma you are telling wrong my teacher is right so they develop that affinity that love that trust and lot of faith towards the teacher whatever teacher tells is the veda the mother starts saying oh for, for him i am not like any more the important place now the teacher has taken it over the mother also realizes we all as mothers we all like uh, like uh, uh, we have experienced that Uh, our children tend to do that we all know that experience isn't it so the same happens to us as a student that also we should realize what is happening to our child is happening to us as well so we must be aware of that fact so that's where we have been hit so remove that now you know that because of that fear of that atmane pada termination so it's something much different no it's not at all different so there is the here is the some work like this some work like that it's only that it's the only change in the form that is new no meaning change happens that is the thing in the kartari level coming to karmani now the atmane pada forms don't change the meaning changes okay the form doesn't change here in this in the case of karmani what is happening the form doesn't change only the meaning changes now the meaning we need not be afraid because on the on the all the sarvadhatuka cases the yak will be there if the yak is also not there you will easily realize you, you can easily recognize it's not going to pose that much problem even when i told you the cases of uh, chaturthi chaturtha gana the padyate etc so there also uh, you can get the clues in the dashama gana there there are going to be some challenges but you know it's not going to be that tough okay i and one more ultimate thing i always tell my students is to do the upasana of bhasha vattarika not just as a uh, like somebody oh it's a new language it's just a skill no sanskrit is not just a skill sanskrit is something that is happening through our brains through our heart through our uh, every every organ of our body is involved in the learning okay it is in the rakta they say they say in my nara nara there is uh, Uh, in in the nerves nerves there is that feeling ha na nara nara lo undi in telugu we say that nara nara means that nara is the nerve okay so in my in every nerve i have it so sanskrit is something happening to us she is horripilating over all our body she is doing the pravaha like the rakta like the rasa in the body all the rasas dhatus etc she has got there so just submit to her tell her then you know something starts working very brilliantly you will i don't say that you will never have a challenge sanskrit is always challenging but you can do it very easily okay you will grow out of the like the obstacle the when the when when the that hurdle hurdle jump is there na so if it's a young kid he cannot jump he will just go down it okay if it's a young kid he will go down if it's grown up then they have to stop then put their but if they are elders then they can go with at some speed they can run but you imagine you are very tall 
then you will just walk it like as if it were a small uh, some railway crossing some like that you will just put your leg aside and you will go so you the size will grow and she will never uh, like uh, ignore you when you approach her this has been my experience have that and this is ultimate answer to all the questions that some school students are going to have in their life of learning and uh, working with some school okay this is that now with all these backgrounds let us go into the points until now do you have anything to say add just few 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 minutes you can take then we will go to the topic if you have anything to say at all yes someone raised hand okay that's okay okay i will unmute you one moment one more set of Did you all get your distinct all the new newcomers? Did you get your allowed uh, like new ma ma? Bagani, can you hear me? I hope. Bagani, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear? Yes. Can you hear? Yeah. Okay. Yes. yes First of all, I. I come, yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 You are audible. Okay. Now. I haven't attended your classes two weeks, three weeks because I was on vacation. So if I ask some questions, if it is already covered it, uh, pardon me. When it comes to Karmani Prayoga, you always use the Apne Pada Lakharas, right? Is that correct? Yes. And is it also true if you are using Karmani, they always in the Pratama Purusha, the verb? No, no, no. Not necessary. Subhaka Sarga Aham Mande, Maya Mantate, right? I prayed, it was prayed by me. No, no, please listen to the previous classes, then your doubts will be answered. We have discussed it elaborately. Okay. The Karmani and the Bhave both we discussed. Okay. So we can go through that. Right. So we will go ahead with the next topic. Okay. So, what is changing? The Samapika Kriya is changing. That is thing Purusha Prate that changes. Now that we are talking about Thinganta in the in the case of Karmani, we are talking about the Thinganta part. That's what changes. Yatha Aham Suryam Pashyami. Then it changes to like Maya Surya Drishyate. Okay. So Maya Surya Drishyate. That is the change. Then what changes in the sentence? Uh, put aside all the karakas, only the karta and karma change. Okay, nothing else changes. Maya surya drishyate. That is the sentence. So the karta was the aham, aham changed to krutiya, surya was the karma, surya changed to prathama, pashyami is in the latlakara, okay, and the uh, uttama purusha, but here it changes to prathama purusha, the purusha changes. That's very important because it goes by karma. Now, karta to bye bye kar diya and he goes to karma. The kriya goes to karma. He says, now we are friends. Okay. Now she is friends with karma. She was friends with karta then. Okay. So that is what is changed. Pashya me with aham me. But here te. Why? Because surya. That's it. Okay. That is how it changes. So don't say drishye. Oh, you know, it's Maya, like Aham, Pashya, me, me is Uttama Purusha. So it must be Drishye. No, it's not Drishye. Okay. So there you should be very careful. Then what happens to the Visheshanas in the sentence? Visheshanas, I got all this from one book. Its name is Ishwara Chandra Krita, uh, Samskrita. I will tell you Vyakarana Chandrika, I think that's its name. Uh, Vyakarana Kaumudi, I'm sorry. I was forget. It's Vyakarana Kaumudi, not our... Uh, Siddhanta Kaumudi, it's the Vyakarana Kaumudi, Ishwara Chandras Vyakarana Kaumudi, but uh, I, I'll just share the details of the book, don't worry. So it's there in all in Hindi, okay, it's all a Hindi book. In that all, like uh, uh, these things, the whole Vyakarana is there, and uh, they have just tried to give the 
uh, stepwise process to approach the, this thing okay <clears throat> so what happens to a visheshana let us see if it's a visheshana of a karta we are only talking about karta and karma we are not talking about any other karaka remember so if the karta has a visheshana then i am nanditah bhavati he is happy okay so anena nanditena bhuyate so i am bhavati anena bhuyate here the karta is in prathama purusha so the karmani also got prathama purusha only okay anena nanditena bhuyate so nanditena also should change okay then karma karma of the karma if there is a visheshana swaya purna chandra drishyata okay so what does happen purna chandra that is the visheshana is isn't it so tvam purnam chandram pashya so tvam purnam chandram pashya is the basic sentence if this is the second i just try to just alter the this thing order so purnam chandram pashya tvam pashya so tvam pashya is in the lot lakara and madhyama purusha but here tvam pashya purnam chandram pashya so karma is going to decide the uh, uh, purusha of the kriya so drishyatam it will become okay drishyatam drish pash will take drish why it will take we have discussed in far and wide length we discussed okay so this is what is the thing karta and karma the vishesham also changes according to the change in the karta and karma with the karta it becomes a tritiya with karma it becomes a prathama simple okay then anya karakani na parivartante so what happens to the other karakas they are not going to change na thing happens to them nothing they just remain happily so oh, it is not our function you know they will manage karta and karma will manage by all the alterations or whatever modifications they will manage will happily sit in the sentence in our own places will not change so they are vikshakas they just sit on leg on the leg like this they cross the leg then sit like this cross the hands and happily be watching okay so how it happens let us see with one karaka maya grihe thiyate so sthiyate is aham grihe tishthami okay aham grihe tishthami so tishthami is aham that's why me now aham becomes maya and sthiyate it's like an akarmaka that's why it's bhave okay but grihe will remain grihe okay i'll tell again aham grihe tishthami here it's a kartari prayoga the me is the representative of aham it's going with aham the karta now the karta has changed to tritiya maya tishthami is an akarmaka that's why it's thiyate okay so grihe maya thiyate grihe the grihe won't change it is in the saptami it will remain saptami okay now the asamapaka kriya if it is there it won't change tumun and Ah, some doubt is there nandini bagini yes you can ask your doubt please raise hands if you have any doubt ma'am uh, i did not understand the meaning here for uh, this maya grihe sthiyate is passive if i am correct right mm -hmm. yes A and uh, aham grihe tishtami is active so yeah. uh, i am trying to like translate in my mind in english or hindi aham grihe tishtami is uh, um mai ghar mein baithunga ya fir baithungi but uh, how do i uh, like I say about go for such things have you attended previous classes uh, no ma'am ah uh, that is a problem i understood by your doubt it's we have discussed this far and wide okay so okay. there will be almost three or four classes for this karmani i think okay. this is the fourth class running so you can uh, listen to them and but for now i uh, let you know clear aham grihe tishthami mai grihe mein rehta hu tishthami mat khada hota hu nahi hai theek hai aham grihe tishthami rehta hu theek hai to yahan tha tha tishth that is par rehna we are using so mai ghar mein rehta hu ha phir maya grihe se mere se grihe mein ghar mein raha ja raha hai to sthiyate raha ja raha hai 
ओके okay? और okay. मैं घर में खड़ा हूँ यदि खड़ा हूं भी लेते हैं तो मेरे द्वारा खड़ा हुआ जा रहा है ठीक है मेरे द्वारा खड़ा हुआ जा हिंदी में बहुत ही सही नहीं है मतलब वो एकदम इनडायरेक्ट हो जाता है वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इट राइट सो यू कैन यू कैन जस्ट थैंक यू आई थिंक योर डाउट इज क्लियर नाउ यस मैम यस हाँ प्रकाश महीने भगनी भगवती वत तू ट okay but that is going on having gone there etc we have discussed so that does not change when we change the kartari karmani okay so example twa i didn't go give an example here but i'll tell you uh karyam kritva vedantas will not change mm-hmm. only asamapakas don't change twa tumun etc which are which are incomplete actions kartum kritva such things and lia also okay those won't change and uh, that uh, this one is there na chatranta chatranta shanach those also are asamapaka okay so those things will not change so it's like swantas karyam kritva griham gachami अहम कार्य गृह गि मैं कार्य गृह गृत्वादंत प्रत्यय विधिंग भविष्य काल एटेट्रा आलो समाइक तव्य तव्य अनीयर आल आर देर मेसिंग अप विथ दिस कर्मणी ऐडिया सो यू शुड बी लाइक अकॉर्डिंग टू दिचुएशन यू हेव टू डू इट it's not like hard and fast rules but we will get it through experience the principle is that we should maintain the same lakara okay we should maintain the same uh, this thing but it, previously it was with karta then it will change to karma or something whatever it happens we should go go by the that particular case okay then the niche etc and the pratyukta dhatus pratyukta dhatus means sun and other these things are there they are they all have the karmani and the kartari and bhave prayogas for all that okay we have those uh, very strictly following that i have given you the forms i'll again show you so okay so these are the forms let we can just go through them uh, like we don't use all of them but i don't want to discourage you that's why uh, i'll just read out quickly myself okay so please listen this is very easy the latlakara gamyate gamyate gamyante it's a very like uh, new experience for us to look at the gam dhatu with atmane pada terminations isn't it atmane pada terminations are there it's like very very uh, what you call as new i mean it's tickling a little oh gamya te gachati na what is happening so that okay but please observe gamya te ate te e te ante that will that will for flow that will be there gamya se gamye the gamya dve gamye gamyavahe gamyamahe then little kara those though we don't use it much okay it's like jagama uh, Jagama is the prayoga. Here, jagme, jagmate, jagmire, jagmishe, jagmate, jagmidve, jagmidve, jagme, jagmi bahe, jagmi mahe. These are very really ideal ones. Uttama, huh? always bahe, mahe, it will remain. Then lut. This also we don't use much, but it's the same as the uh, this one. Only the uttama purusha changes here. Okay. Uh, गंता गंतारो गंतारहा 
गंता से गंता साथ है गंता गंता द्वे गंता है गंता स्व है गंता स्व है गंता गंता रो गंता रहा प्रथम पुरुष विल रिमेन से मध्यम एंड उत्तम विल चेंज टू द आत्मनिर्भर देन अद्यतन भविष्य इट इज लाइक वेरी कॉमन वन गमीष्यति इज द फॉर्म इन द कर्तरी विच हैज नथिंग टू डू विद कर्मणि ओके बिकॉज कम कर्मणि इज टोटली द फॉर्म हैज चेंज बट वेन वी कम टू द वाच्य परिवर्तन From kartari to karmani change, then we have to know what is the kartari of it. Gamsiyate, gamsiyate, gamsiyante, gamsiyase, gamsiyate, gamsiyadve, gamsiye, gamsiyavahe, gamsiyavahe. This is again ideal because you are only have to remember the gamsiya. Otherwise, is uh, it's all te te ante only. Like in the kartari also, it's like gamishyati, gamishyata, gamishyanti. The te te ante will not change. Only the previous uh, part will change. The, there is a shia there and there is a sia here. Okay, then uh, load agnyartha. So here there was a doubt. So how to change? It is this way same. All atmani pada terminations will be there with the ya in the uh, this one. Okay, if uh, it's just uh, like ah uh, uh, this one, then ah uh, it the ya will not be there. For example. Uh, hara tam, hare tam, haran tam. It will be like that. But uh, here there is gamya tam. No need to get confused at all. Only place where we get confused is the ya as a vikarana pratyaya or ya as a dhatu anga. It's it's a part of the dhatu. For example, okay, then we get a little confused. That's all. Otherwise, it's very easy. So gamya tam, gamya tam, gamya tam. The tam, a tam, an tam. गम्यस्व गम्ये धाम गम्य धम गम्य गम्यावहे गम्यावहे सो हियर लेट विल आइडिया विल कम ओके लेट आ सो लेट हिम बी रीच लेट ही बी रीच ओके लेट हिम बी और लेट ही बी रीच ओके एक्सक्यूज मी देयर इज अ डाउट लाइक माया गृहे स्थीयते it is uh, resided by me in the house tishthati i reside in the house tishthami aham grihe tishthami i reside in the house or i am in the house that am will be translated you need not understand everything through english because as we have already discussed english is a very big barrier in learning sanskritam especially in certain ideas as this so you just like try to see it through your own language kannada malayalam tamil whatever you speak you can understand it through more easily okay though the passive is a little cumbersome in own language but still reaching out to the sanskrit idea even if it's cumbersome is easier in our own languages okay so maya grihe sthiyate it is resided by me in the house now we'll go forward bhagini yeah. i have a question Yes, please. I, I have one question. When you go to the Latlakara, Gamye uh, is a Uttama Purusha. Is that used in Kartre Prayoga or Karmani Prayoga? Prata, please. Gamye, Gamyate. If you go to the Latlakara of the same screen, you are right now. In, yeah, Gamyate, Maya Gamyate, right? Gamye. We haven't used it in uh, Kar Karmani Prayoga. You cannot use it, right? Tell please, you tell. We discussed it just in the beginning of this class. I told, and we discussed it also. You can tell. Okay. Thank you, Madam. No, no, you can tell. Please try. Not thank you, Madam. Please tell. Okay. You tell. Like it's a passive of Uttama Purusha. Right. So how will it be? Please try. Try to reach there. Aham gamye, right? Uh -huh. Is that is that a correct way of using it? Aham gamye. Maya gamyate. I went. It was gone. It was visited. Something like this. Maya vanam gamyate. Now you tell. Maya vanam gamyate. Correct. Uh, Subject. Right. Vanam is the place where you are reaching. But here, aham is what? I went aham to the forest. Like vanam here. Right. It's not aham gachami. Okay. saha maam agachati if some kind of such statement is there he is coming to be if we want to say like that it's not there saha maam gachati then aham gamye that is how it comes tena aham gamye 
by him i am reached okay okay Yes, it, I mean, you are right. The, the, the applicable uh, prayogas in the Bhave and Karmani is more complex than using in English. So mm -hmm. we cannot directly translate that. So. so it comes by experience. Don't worry. In the beginning, I saw, I told that, oh, this kind of feeling comes only in the beginning. But later, it will uh, slowly sink into you and you'll get more comfortable. I mean, the previous <laughs> example, Stiyate, if you directly translate, it doesn't into English, it doesn't come out well because I am st I'm standing in that house. It was stood by me. I mean, you know, so it, it has a... You have to take it in English was confused with Bhave and Karmani. We have discussed this. Bhave and Karmani are different. Right. Bhave and Karmani are entirely different. They are like Akarmaka Dhatus are all going into Bhave only. It will have only one form. It will have only one form. All these forms and differences are only for Karmani Prayogas. So it should be a Sakarmaka Dhatu to have these Prayogas, possible. But you know, Uttama Purusha is still a little, uh, uh, it's not very, uh, like, uh, uh, it's rare. It, it's not a usual thing of putting things into Karmani. Uh, in the Karmani, Uttama Purusha is a rare happening. Okay? But in the Tridantas, it's a little easy. Aham Prapya, Aham Gamya. So that right. is like easier. But Aham Gamye, by him, I am Gamye. By her, I am Gamye. So they are coming to me. So that idea is a little rare in Sanskritam also, but still we have forms. We have forms for everything. Dhanyavada. Dhanmi, I have a doubt. Uh, please, please tell. Uh, Aham Gamye will come for uh, Kadri Prayoga, but if it was Bhave Prayoga, it will be Gamyate. Why should there be a Bhave Prayoga? I think for this verb, there will be no uh, Bhavi Prayoga. Well, it will not be there. It has to answer if the object is there, then uh, go, go. So what comes for Bhavi Prayoga? Bhavi Prayoga, when does it happen? Uh, Bhavi Prayoga is when there is no uh, uh, karmani. No karma. No karma. Hmm. That is when it is Bhave Prayoga. So the uh, quest object will not be there. There will be no object. Hmm. So if we ask come, uh, Khan, and uh, uh, which, are the, uh, which are the things we should ask for it to be the object? Uh, is, is gum uh, a karmaka dhatu or sakarmaka dhatu? Gum is sakarmaka. Ah, so it, it will not have bhave prayoga. As I told you, I, I made a triangle. You remember there are circles and I made some uh, this arrows and showed in the previous lesson. Yes. Like the kartari, every like sakarmakas have kartari karmani. Akarmakas have kar, kartari bhave. Now you got clear? Again I yes. tell all Sakarmakas will have Kartari Karmani. All Akarmakas will have Kartari Bhave. So don't confuse with Karmani Bhave. Karmani Bhave are never together. Karmani is entirely different. Bhave is entirely different. Okay? So Gam Dhatu is a Sakarmaka Dhatu. It's not going to have a Bhave Prayoga at all. Okay? Right? Saha Maam Gachati. I told you a very like... Uh, like a, what you call, a, it's not there in the world. It's unworldly sentence. Saha maam gachati. Like saha vanam gachati. Okay? So saha maam gachati. Vanam is speaking. I am the vanam. I am speaking. Saha maam gachati. So aham tena gamye. Do you see that? Aham tena gamye. I am reached by him. The vanam is speaking. In such places, there the Uttama Purusha comes. Okay, so these prayogas are not very usual kind of ones, especially with Uttam Purusha and Madhyam Purusha. So with other dhatus, we can try. Uh, like somebody is reading mind or something, reading heart, we can say, Aham Patye. So I am read by him. I am read by her. Okay, I am read. He is reading me. He is, she is reading me. 
सह मां पठति मम मन पठति दट मीन ई मीन वेरी फिगरेटिव सेंटेंस सो अहम पठिए ई एम बीइंग रेड बाय हिम ई एम बीइंग रेड बाय हर ओके मैम डज इट मीन दैट अहम पठे इज इक्विवेलेंट टू अहम तेन पठिए ना एग्जैक्टली तेन अर्थ या व्हाट एवर इज द सब्जेक्ट ना आई एम एजेंट आई मीन कर्ता whatever is the karta we can use it tena arthaya okay just trying to give you examples right or no it's not totally practically workable i agree but we must know the forms okay next so gamyatam let him be approached let he be approached let they both be approached gamyatam gamyantam let they all be approached okay let they all be reached Right then, uh, gam yasva. Let you be reached. Gam yetham. Let you both be reached. Gam yadham. Let you all be reached. Gam yai. Let me be. Let I be reached. Let let me, let me not say me. Let I be reached. Gam yava hai. Let we both be reached. Gam yam hai. Let we all be reached. Okay. Then lang lakara. Lang lakara. Anadya tana bhuta. This is very common. Ah, uh, here you are going to have a little like uh, experience. Like I was, uh, like was, was will be okay. So I was reached. So agam ye, okay. I was reached. Agam ye, agam ya vahi. I was reached by someone. Okay. So here it comes. So he was reached. They both were reached. They all were reached. Agam ya ta, agam ye ta, agam yan ta, agam ya tha, agam ye tha, agam ya dham. Agamye, agamya, vahi, agamya, vahi. So agamya dham will mean let you, uh, no, not let they, you all were reached, you all were reached by someone. Okay, by them. The subject is not important. Agamya dham. Okay. So let let us have that by in our mind whenever we speak of karma di. Okay. Because we are our interaction is going through in English. that's why i have to give you some clues so put by in your mind so let you all uh, no uh, you, you all were reached by someone okay were reached so the participle form is very easy in english that you can apply yeah one doubt is there please ask ma'am uh, all this is uh, uh, not so easy to Uh, get uh, this thing. So, how it is practically used, ma'am? Oh, some somebody place. asked it for all the forms. That's why I am giving all the forms so that whatever initial this thing is there, it should be removed. The clarity should come with the lakaras, with the different purushas, with the different vachanas. That is why I am trying to give you this form. If it confuses you, then please stay away. Please wait for some time until we enter the sentences. If it does not, then please. I mean, it will take some time to sink in. That's why I gave you so much big twenty minutes. Prati padika for this. Twenty minutes background I gave you to enter into this. Okay. Very <laughs> well. Yeah. So let you all be reached. Not let. Let is low tanya tha. Here lung lakara. Okay. So you were reached. It's all like that. Then, withholding. Withholding is should. So he should be reached. They both should be reached. They all should be reached. Gamyeta, gamyeta, gamyeran. Okay. You should be reached. Gamyeta, gamyeta. You both should be reached. Gamyedham. You all should be reached. Okay. Then gamyeya. I should be reached. Gam ye mahi we both should be reached. Gam ye mahi we all should be reached. So should be is the beginning. So for every lakara put one uh, keyword like for load let, for lung where was and all that past. For beginning should. Then it will be a little easy for you. Okay, let's not compare with anything. Let's have that thing in our minds also, with the relate, with related to our own language, our own mother tongue also. We can 
Uh, in Telugu, it is always Ali, and in in Kannada, it's always Beku. So with that, we cannot bring in the Purusha. You know, Purusha doesn't come out in Telugu and Kannada. I don't know about Tamil and all, but here it's like Beku. Beku is for everything. All Purushas, all Vachanas, all uh, these things, Lingas, everything Beku. But here in Sanskrit, it's not like that. He Mada Beku is different. He they both Mada Beku different. So in Telugu, Chayali. Ali, Nenu Chayali, Nuvu Chayali, everybody Chayali. Many also Chayali, single also Chayali. The Ali, Ali will be repeating. So I cannot give you that idea. That's why we have to add Badu Chayali, Variddaru Chayali, Varanekulu Chayali. So he should do, they both should do, they many should do. All putting one, this thing in Sanskrit. But here, like Gamya, Gamdhatu's meaning is to reach, to go. I am using reach because. Gone is a little, this thing to explain. That's why I'm using reach. I am gone by you. It's a very like, very uh, inconvenient sentence to, to even make. That's why you, I'm using reach. So that it's easier for you to understand. Okay. So, gam, uh, so gam yeta, he should be reached. So the be reached is the passive idea. Should is the vidhiling idea. And he is the Purusha idea. So much thing. So that is why you feel complicated. But I gave you the X plus Y principle. I gave you the elements. You already know how to break the word into how many parts. What I initially told you is just don't panic by seeing the forms. If you are panicked, eyes closed. Something comes in between. It blocks. Okay. In karate, we put like this block. So block is for defense, it's good. Okay, but it's not a, a language, linguist uh, uh, thing. Okay, then Ashir Ling, what is in the this uh, this one will be like changed. Ashir Ling, I also have to think. Ashir Ling translation will be Bhavatu Bhuyat. That is also should only. Should or let. It's a combination of both, let and should. So how should we put it? May, may we can put, okay? So uh, like Bhuyat is may there be, like that we say, okay? So in translating in Sanskrit, in English, this idea, Gam is uh, uh, may be reached. May he be reached. May they both be reached. May they many be reached. Like Gam Sishta. Sahagam Sishta. Okay. So may he be reached. So it's an Ashir Ling idea. May I be reached. May you be reached. Like that. May we can put for Ashir Ling. Okay. So we can uh, like. Yeah. Gamya is I should be reached. Okay. I should be reached. But here may I be reached. Okay. Like that. Gamsiya. May I be reached. May I be reached by Bhagavan? Okay. Aham Gamsiya. Okay. Here Linga is not important because it's Tinganta form. Linga is not counted. But if you use like uh, Kridanta forms, then you have Linga. The Kta Pratyaya, the uh, other which uh, it comes to Ya, uh, other Pratyas are there. Okay. There, there we will have a, uh, this thing with mess up with Linga also. Here we don't touch Linga at all. Now, Lung Adhyatana Bhuta. So this is like Agami. Um, so, Tena Agami. So it is like uh, Saha Agami. No, no, no. Tena Saha Agami. Yeah, like that. So how will we put this? It's just simple past, past tense only. Um, he was reached. Okay. He was reached. Agam Satam, they both were reached like that. Okay. Uh, am I telling it right? Because Agami has, one moment, let me just think. Tena Agami Saha Tena Agam Agam Si. Yeah. So, by him, it was reached like that. 
obtain also obtain correct by him it was it was reached also we can take right ah, that is where i was getting confused so it was reached he was reached she was reached all will come in the prathama purusha right that is what then they both they many agam sata agam sthaha you were reached agam satham you both were it's a, like past tense in english because in english we don't have the difference uh, between that but in sanskrit like simple past is for all kinds of past anadyatana is for not just for today not today's and today past but uh, uh, lit paroksha is like all purana kala type okay now lung bhavishya lung bhavishya lung is not bhavishya it's if conditional okay if conditional uh, we can say the conditional tense agamsyata if he were reached agamsyata agamsyata if they both were reached like that it will come if i were reached then dot 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 next statement okay agamsye okay like this well hmm? so it will have an arthanepada termination but this sya you know it's a part of uh, rung lakara if you study the these lakaras in the kartari you will find that they are almost similar okay except the arthanepada terminations they are almost this the initial part is very similar okay and you don't find any yak in this okay you don't find any yak agami doesn't have any yak that's why i told you don't depend upon yak at all you don't have yak here also in the ashirling you don't have yak okay in the parokshalit you don't have yak in the dritlakara you don't have yak in the lutlakara you don't have yak that is where you are going to face problems if it's an atmane padi dhatu and uh, it's a karmani prayoga then you are going to suffer again okay but as i told you bhattarika feeling will save you don't don't worry and we are not going to as far as i have read like ramayana mahabharata bhagavad gita so these thing we have read right so how many such forms do you find they are only for learning sake actually i should not be spending so much time on this at all but for the feel of it for the how beautiful sanskrit language is how much complicated ideas we can express uh, through sanskrit through such simple word constructions is my main thing otherwise i would not have spent so much time okay you can pass your exams if all the idea about this course is to make you write your exams well to score uh, to get scores in 90s etc okay then it's wrong okay we we are done we don't need to discuss so much okay so just for the idea of it i am trying to bring to your notice as many points as possible okay uh, so past tense we have discussed bhagini uh, could we use lang lakara and not lung no anadyatana only we use lang lakara lung lakara is simple past but we are not using it because of the fear we have discussed it all when we discussed the past tense you can go through that lesson okay so these are the lakaras now we will come to uh, uh, this thing okay uh, translate into sanskrit we will quickly do it okay if there are only less sentences i think we will be able to do it in 10 minutes uh, please unmute and uh, quickly tell we will not spend much time on this okay uh, if you if you prefer we will do it in the next class if we if you are ready then we will do it in this class whatever you propose i would prefer you do it in the next class kishora acharya saying okay it, it, if it the, was, yeah please next class okay very then. difficult ha huh. i'm I having know. difficulty i tried to translate it myself before mm -hmm. class uh, having lot of difficulty mm -hmm. fine, so fine. next class would be best for me oh, fine fine we'll just quickly complete and enter into the next topic in the next class okay i didn't think of spending this much time on this at all let me be frank i just wanted to show you the forms for the feel of it and just go ahead but since you others were like showing some interest asking some doubts so i thought okay let me clearly like put it and give you the this thing okay so now i'll just try to go through to give you a small revision of what we did we did the uh, small rules like if it's a thing and the then the Uh, kriya will change 
like according to subject it will be there in the kartari so according to the agent the karta it will be there in the kartari but according to karma it will change in the karmani the thing and the form will change the purusha will change that is what that was the important point samapika kriya is the thing and the form okay tati tahanti forms are all samapaka visheshanam if it is there it will change example the visheshana can happen with karta visheshana can happen with karma we did the both examples then the other karakas won't change we took an example of the saptami vibhakti then they are not going to change at all starting from tritiya it will remain same tritiya you know it's like both uh, i i did not make, tell this clearly to you in any of the classes so let me tell you now tritiya represents uh, karta and karana both okay so ramayana banena hato vali is the example that i told you before ramayana banena vali hataha vali is killed okay or vali was killed by rama by bana now what is rama and what is bana any one of you can tell who is karta rama rama is karta why is not bana karta bani na also hata ha na was is karma no, bani bani not karma it is an instrument bali is karma bana is instrument correct bali is hata ha so bali is karma ramaha banena valim hatavan ramaha banena valim hatavan did you observe banena did not change in the kartari also but rama got changed do you observe that ramaha banena valim hatavan ramena banena hataha vali so hatavan changes to hataha vali becomes prathama the karma becomes the prathama vibhakti karta becomes tritiya vibhakti but the karana tritiya remains the same okay that is how you catch hold of the difference between kar karta or karana tritiya if it's a karana tritiya the tritiya won't change when you change it to kartari prayoga just try the kartari then you will quickly get the idea which uh, uh, this thing it is it's a very good point i think okay then asamapika kriya is uh, like the ktvantas the ktva tumun lyap etc are not going to change in the sentence okay they are not going to change like twa aham griham gatva khadami maya griham gatva khadyate aham griham gatva akhadam maya griham gatva akhadyata okay like that then uh with with the vidhiling like we have seen vidhiling ashirling lot lakara lang lakara bhavishyat we all saw all those forms with gandhatu so in that forms we, we can change according to the subject and according to the idea of the sentence then niche etc and other pratyukta dhatus are also like they have got the karmani and bhave prayogat now if we go to that you'll get more confused that's why i am not using those here okay i don't usually want to confuse my students but i want to give them as much as possible so that even if they are initially feeling difficulty to understand the topic they will definitely probe deeper i am different from other teachers in this context i me panga leti hu theek hai me bilkul i take the risk i take the risk of making students a little like it's like chal to kar sakta in the military training it's like that i am more inspired by prahar movie let me tell you the way he trains is uh, uh, he is called as, as a very like they all give him lot of like bad words also but he doesn't change his nature he just throws them into the water says come on swim now he takes them to the heights he and like that okay i i i don't want to burden you i know your limits i know your uh limits where you can break them 
I know your limit. I know where you can break them. But I won't pull it too hard that you will break down. You will not break. You will break that limit. I take that care in my classes. Okay? So even initially you feel that trust, you will feel that a little this thing, but sometimes that tearing it off is very important. That's why we panga leti. Okay? Then we discuss okay. these forms. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah. This much we did today. Yeah. Thank you. Anything more? Or we can stop. I did the revision. Uh, then I told you fun, one or two new points. Here completes my class. Then we will close with the prathana. Sati Prajabhya Paripalayanta Nyaye Namar Gena Mahi Mahishaha Go Brahmane Prishva Masunityam Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Shubhamastu. Okay.